You don't have to stand. I know you're a little overheated, but it's going to get wonderful in here tonight. Will y'all clap your hands for Apostle Dr. John T. Abercrombie? Will y'all do that? Come on, everyone, everyone. And can we clap for the woman of God, Prophetess Rosemary Abercrombie? To all of my colleagues and constituents that carry the bloodstained banner and that preach the gospel of the kingdom, we salute you in the name of Jesus tonight. Now y'all forgive me for being a little serious. I ain't got time to play tonight. At all. I'm not an actor for anyone. I'm going to use, if I can, Prophetess Rosemary's hands to lay hands on anyone that I call out tonight. Will you allow me to do that? That means I trust your hands. Lady in the orange in the back, stand up. What's your last name? Excuse me? First name. Do you mind if I let her lay hands on you? Okay. Open financial doors for a person named Damien. Is this person here? Who is he to you? All right, listen to me. Y'all love each other. You're going to make it, but the finances are very rocky and God is about to bring success to your house. We're not jealous, are we? Now, I'm really an old school prophet. I don't know how these young prophets become old school prophets, but I'm an old school prophet. And I can hear the thoughts of some of you. And if you're looking for gimmicks, stop looking at me. Look within yourself. I have a... I, I have a passion for seeing people miraculously blessed. Because it used to be me. I don't hear nobody. And when you've been where people are trying to come out of, you have an inner concern. When I tell you to come up, how long have you been married? 12 years, how many children? When I tell you to come up and Prophetess Rosemary lays hands on you, God said you can call or text him and let him know that all of y'all's finances and dreams and permanent house to live in is going to be released after this tent meeting. I don't hear nobody. Start walking. Uh-oh, she ran. I'm going to need some ushers. Hello. Y'all going to work in here? Any of you that have a desire to move into a place called permanent residence, start praising God for her and watch what happens to you. You may be seated. I wrote a social media paragraph about two weeks ago. I can't recall everything I say because when he speaks to me, it's very sporadic. I write it, then I leave it alone. But this is what the Lord told me for three people who have the Holy Ghost. He said, we need people with stronger gifts to discern when it's a high level of talent versus the anointing. 
because some of y'all have become entertainers even as preachers only you and God know you don't feel nothing when you up front Collins who's Collins I think I'm going to have to talk to the who's Collins you scared oh cause you was about to lose all your new businesses right now every last one of them you ain't got nothing to hide I never tell the bad stuff come out here let me talk to you Stay there. How are you? Why you didn't move quick? You forgot your name? Oh, so you're going to let somebody else get it? He said, because you called my last name, somebody first name could have been Collins. I was going to let them get it. If a true prophet is in here, my name Todd. If you say Troy, I'm standing up. I, man, you done lost your mind. Some of you ain't thirsty enough. I, all you got to do is get the first letter right. My name will be like, listen, Reverend, whoever that is don't want that. Just come over here. You can get my name wrong. Just get my prophecy right. I would not have done that. Don't ever let, don't do that no more, dog. No, I'm just trying to help a brother out. I really am. Ain't nobody getting what's mine. I ain't that nice. God said, tell him, I need to bless him for some of the things he's lost. Tell him there's a few things that I can never replace if I called it home. Like death, he can't replace that. Tell him he also did not get away from thinking that he was not going to preach this gospel. Oh, we got the right Collins. <laughs> Tell him I did not give him a gift to spot phonies just to sit on the sideline. I gave him that to help me clean up house. Anything there is derogatory or negative about him that could sprout up from years, I will now erase it from computers and files. I'm going to give him a clean start. Y'all ain't. Oh, y'all my shando hoshkata bahaya. Uh-oh. Look at some of y'all because you know him. You don't know him like God knows him. God said, tell him he'll have nothing to look over his shoulder for. Because when I, God, say words like case dismissed, it is over I mean it now I'm not going to let prophetess Rosemary touch you not because she ain't annoying it I'm going to take the privilege of this one you're probably number 20 or 25 that I've laid hands on in a year because I am not a lay hands on guy kind of prophet I'll give you the letter, but I won't stamp you. One planet. Oh, y'all don't like what I'm talking about? Some of y'all think you could do it all. I release you, man. Just prophesy and sit down. Let the pastor release his member. See how quiet? Because now rookies will start talking against their leaders because they got a word from another church. When I lay hands on Brother Collins, what is it, Harvey Collins? What is it, Harvey? When I lay hands on Brother Harvey Collins, a portion, 15% or 20% of my gift is going to intrude you so that no one will be able to lie in your face or say God said something and you're not sure about it. 
Will you receive that? He said, I receive. When I touch my brother who will be one of the millionaires of the kingdom of God, I want anyone that's not jealous to start screaming, do it now in the name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh-oh. 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 Just high five somebody and shout, and it is so. Is this a name or a nickname? I think I'm on social media now. Fox? F-O-X. Is that you? You going to talk to me? What's your first name? Pamela. All right, prophetess, I'm going to need your hands again in a minute. Now, Pamela, stay right there and look at me and she'll come to you. You're really not a woman to follow rules. Can't no man tell you what to do no more. Am I right or wrong? All right, I just want to know. I don't know a woman that could take what you took and still be in her right mind. Some of y'all jealous. Oh, she need to meet me. She don't need to meet you. You need to meet her. If God wanted to use you as an example, he'd have called you up here. You went through because of choices you made. She went through as a demonic target. Uh oh, y'all mighty quiet. And God said, I'll prove it. He said, Tell her, I won't call her Fox, I'll call her Irving. And tonight you're going to become, in the spirit, prophetess in training Irving. If you don't want her in your church, she can find another church. There ain't nobody caring about that. We outside. Because some of you can't handle the same five-fold ministry from the block as you can raised in the church. They function different. Why are there two last names? You haven't changed your name back to what? You are divorced, so your married name was Irving. All right, I get it. When she lays hands on Pam, we're going to call you Pam Lord, just Pam. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to lay hands on. And the Lord said, tell you something that's crazy that ain't nobody going to like. You may not even like it. He said, thanks for not allowing the devil to push you all the way to a strip club. There you would have died, pow, pow, by a crazy man. Hey, be like me. I don't care what folk know about me. They can't stop me. Because I walk in his obedience and in his glory. I'm not manipulated by man's words. If you're going to preach on the block, you got to have a certain DNA. At my command, if you don't mind, when she lays hands on Pam Fox. Pam T. Fox. What's your middle name? They call you Trina. Okay. When the hands is laid, you will also get a new place to live. This will take half of your problems out your way. Wow. 
when she gets hands laid on her, anybody that's not jealous, clap and God will bless you. Do it now in the name of Jesus. Soon ain't nobody gonna have to pray for you. You gonna be praying for everybody else. Maybe seated, and I'm laughing because the Lord told me to tell you this, and you may not believe it. And then go back. He said, "For me to tell you as a man of God, it's my pleasure to meet you." You got it. I know. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The devil ain't gonna never get her no more. I know Prophet Hall, he anointed me. The devil ain't never getting that. What is that, Wakefield? I'm missing this name. That's your name? Talk to me. You can talk louder, could you scream louder than that? What's your first name? Somebody help her. Where are you from? What side? Y'all sound real proud of this one. Do you have any children? Do you have Do you have any daughters? Where is she? Uh-oh, you finally walking? I wanted you to walk cuz God was going to heal your back and legs while you're in the process. Huh? I don't know why you were standing there. He's going up your sciatic nerve. He's about to really cure you. Mm -hmm. Lower back all the way down your right leg. Yeah. Holy Ghost is a healer, and you already know this because you pray for many people. Where's this daughter? What town? Where is she? How old? Okay. What does she do for a living? McDonald Corporation. The Lord said, I'm going to put three angels around your daughter to protect her and her family. But God said by 3 a.m. you're going to feel a little sharp pain. That won't be pain. That'll be me reattaching your nerves. Mm -hmm. When I lay hands on this woman of God. Anyone that knows he's a healer and you need a healing in any physical area, spiritual or emotional, you're about to get healed for real. Those who trust God, you got 10 seconds. Do it now in the motion. Got the motion. Be seated. Just asking, because that prophecy was going to stretch through the social media. Who's Alan? I'm about to talk through the camera now. Who's Alan? All right. Can y'all see who's on social media, whoever's taping? Do they comment? I'm not sure if y'all are going to be able to catch this. 
But when she fell on the floor, God said there was another Wakefield family that I want to bless that should have been on their way. Something happened. The lady's name starts with a C, like Clarissa. The man's name is Alan. They're going to start writing. The son's name is Jeremy. This woman used to work for J.P. Morgan. Don't worry, whoever, whoever's going to start talking to her in a minute, you're going to be shocked. But uh, The Lord said, tonight I have a direct line to women who are about to become millionaires from home. I'm going to make Kingdom Martha Stewart's and Oprah Winfrey's under the tent. I know you don't believe me. Some of you could cook, but you can never sell your product. Some of you can. <laughs> Prophet Marcus is going to start taking place right now. Help her while her back is getting healed. Whenever she's ready, just be on your post. Ten people who need miracles for this woman just shout straighten out. I don't have time to work with this because I don't sense enough faith in action tonight. I know you're here, but I want to speak a future prophecy. Uh, if the Lord can uh, give sight to a man who was born blind, what could he do to a woman in the second row? Uh-oh. I don't know when it's going to happen. Stay there. I'm about to put my hands on your eyes. You weren't born this way, were you? I know. Blink three times. Blink three times. One, two, three. Look at me. Thank you. God, according to your time and season, I need her to be a living testimony. Let us start seeing lights, colors, figures, and then bring it all into focus. Especially that left eye. While I'm touching her, God said, anyone in here that has diabetes, you're healed. Last but not least, because I want to read. Come here, sister, with the wonderful hairstyle. You. Take the shoes off your feet. 
Take your time. Face me. On last night. Go ahead and praise him. That's legal. On last night when you were praising and dancing. You belong to this church. You know her very well. God says, I've been hearing her prayers about the restoration of this ministry. It's been chewing at her deeply. Bishop, I'm calling you that to differentiate. Please hear your new friend if we're only going to be friends for 48 hours. It'll be the best 48 hours of our friendship. Don't allow any of your members just because they've been here longer close to you make you turn against others cause some of them that's been here the longest are the liars that's tearing you down behind your back let me say this for folk from the block I'll preach outside cause y'all acting like y'all in the church the best person you can trust in your life is someone that knows everything bad about you and keeps their mouth shut. Oh, I see we ain't got no real people now. Huh? I ain't covering nobody's sin. Hush. Little baby, don't say a word. Mama going to buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing or snitch, the gifts keep accumulating. Because you've been faithful, not faithful. God said, I got some things I've been holding for her for 18 years. You really misunderstood. You really are. You almost persuaded yourself you didn't care what folk think, but you do. You did a good job. But God said, tell them about to make her enemies her footstool. Mm. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. Did the young lady that sang sermonic leave? There was a few of the singers with her. Did any of them leave? Where is she? Did any of your singers leave? Yes. You need to call the young boy that's married and tell him he missed his four bedroom house. What's your name? I'm going to lay hands on Sue and anyone that knows. I don't lay hands. Man, this is more people in the tent I've touched in, in years. And looking up for why? That's your job. That ain't my job. That's your job. My Bible say lay hands on no man suddenly. I don't know what yours say. You trying to prove you got power. That's all. I ain't got time for no theatrics. When I lay hands on the daughter of God, all of you that know you're about to be restored what you deserve for over 10 years in one year, you will clap and stomp like a baby that just been blessed due to my son. Don't push her, stand behind her. That's a woman. Ta -ta -ta -ta. I would get close to the fire. Hallelujah. I 
I don't know how y'all usher watching from five feet away, but I guess that's the new way. Thank you, Sean. We'll pay you a little extra money from the pastor at the church. No music on this. I just want you to look at your neighbor, say these two words. If they don't respond right, don't talk to them for at least two days. Look at that neighbor and scream at them, you're next. That's what you tell them. You're next. Get your Bibles, your devices, your phone, your iPad, whatever the Bible is on, get it. I ain't afraid of no tongue speaking. That's my language. So the guy who I said in the group turned around and came back. <laughs> Tell him run up here, then he can go where he was trying to go. Come here. Well, you the guy playing? Oh, okay. You married? How long? The Lord, I know this is going to shock you, the Lord is going to wherever you live temporarily right now. Being that you really didn't believe in prophets, you will tonight. I'm that ex-drug dealer, gang banger, real kind of deal, ain't got no placebos in my gift this prescription from God you need a prescription for this I'm glad you turned around God says I'm not going to let the enemy destroy this marriage because as of two months ago it's already destroyed it's okay it's okay it's going to work God is also going to make whatever your so-called temptation is move out of the city. Sometime when we, I've been there, can't walk away from it, God will make it. With tears really in your soul, I'm doing this because you're chosen. I won't even say the word preacher no more. You don't need to hear it no more. But come on, Jonah. Come on. Stop seeing everybody else that's fake and you make it real. Come on. Stop thinking pastors don't treat musicians right and all this. Come on, Jonah. We can do this together. I'm proof that he won't pay you for 13 years, but when he do, he'll make up for him. I'm proof that I served a God who knew how much I made on the block and didn't pay me block prices till 15 years later. When he gave me my first drug dealer check, I almost flipped out. I said, now that's what I'm talking about, Holy Ghost. But he wanted to see whether I would stick with him, not for the money, but out of love for him. I'm going to transfer the unusual discipline that people don't know I have to you. Yeah. Yeah, say it. Go ahead. Yes, say it. I've seen you preach like across the city, like Sweet Holy, maybe like four or five years ago. And I was just taken away by your, your gift. And I was like, God, 
if I'm called to be a prophet, I want to be a prophet like that. I want to be that king. I want to be on that point to where I'm that connected with God. I want to call out addresses. I want to call out people's names that ain't even in the room. Because I've seen you and seen God work in you. And I just want it. Well, tonight your wish is his command. It's called impartation. Sean, what you're looking at so I can describe to you is when a person has back surgery and leg surgery, they have to go under anesthesia. So they are forced to sleep. When I lay hands on my brother, all of you that want an authentic gift from God, you got 10 seconds to yell as loud as you can. Do it not to... And tonight I call you son, son of the prophet. The Holy Ghost just said to me so I don't cry out to tell every woman this next is your sons even the four behind jail Jeff Alvin God said I'm gonna go get them right now while your mouths are open I will pour out of my spirit upon your son
Get your Bibles. I tell you, a lot of folk get caught up with prophecy, but you better get caught up with this Bible. Yeah.